This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. This match, by the way, is going to go probably too long. 10 and 13, 10 minutes, 13 seconds. Meltzer would say, uh, who would have ever thought that Rhodes now 55 would be in the longest match on the show. Rhodes didn't get nearly the pop you'd expect. The match was right. terrible and Rhodes surprisingly showed no charisma to his match, uh, to, uh, match his complete lack of mobility. The crowd didn't seem to mind because they got a lot of blood. So he's very critical of dusty, but he always had been dusty's 55 here. Uh, certainly, uh, his better days behind him. Uh, he's, he's ballooned up a little bit. He's put on some extra weight that is going to slow him down. And obviously at his age, he's going to naturally be slowed down a little bit, but as a fan, I got to tell you, I love that they were doing something with dusty Rhodes. You know, we've given a pass to Terry Funk when we would see him in WCW in 2000 and. I don't know how it's that different. You know, they're, they're, they're still out here entertaining fans and getting a pop and getting a reaction and telling stories. And if they're having fun and fans are digging it, why not keep doing it? Well, I agree. And, and, and the reason that, uh, dusty would not get the pop from Dave Melcher that Terry Funk would get the pop from Dave Melcher was Melcher like funk. He didn't like dusty and he would never cut dusty a break ever. Well, I think he's talking about pop from the crowd, but. This is yeah, no, he's right about that. It's, I, it's I didn't, Connecticut, you know, right. it's not it's, Dusty's backyard. It's not his backyard. Even though he had been in the WWE, you know, as Dusty with the polka dots prior to that. And he had spent some time. I mean, he had uh, worked Madison square garden as an independent, you know, Vince senior would bring him in now and then, but it, it's, they consider him a WCW guy, don't right. they? Not an ECW guy. Yeah. And, and I think that had a lot to do with it, but dusty probably never called Melcher to smarten him up on shit. And that's why Melcher never took care of him. I feel fairly confident that that didn't happen. Yes. But Carino doing a pretty good job of bumping for him here, man. I love Steve Carino. I, I wish I do too. I, I give him a hard time, big baseball guy. And I, I always say he's Terry Taylor's, you know, lackey, but he's not. And I'll, I have a lot of time for Steve. Matter of fact, I will, uh, as baseball season gets closer, send a text or two to Steve. Read us, uh, three of your most recent texts to wrestlers. Uh, don't tell us who they're to, uh, but I'm sure that you've got some funny interactions. Okay. Well, as we're going on here, when's the, when's the blood going to start as I'm looking up these Texas pretty soon, Texas, Texas, Texas is it with Texas, Texas texts, boy, you wouldn't think you're a commentator for a living. I am. Damn it. That's exactly right. Jr. But, uh, stop that shit. Okay. Let's see. Hey buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Here we go. Read it. Read it. Come on. No, it's it's going to be taken out of context. That's, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> You're going to love this. Yeah. Hey, bu hey, buddy. Thanks for tonight. Sorry. It did not last too long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's probably yeah. to Tony Khan. <laughs> no. Oh God. No, God, you're saying, so no, you're saying wrestlers. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm doing wrestlers here. Okay. All right. Let me go look another one here. Can't wait. Wrestlers. Gotta be somebody current wrestlers, right? Yep. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> wow, I have to I have to look a long way. I got one on my side. Okay. Uh guess who I text the phrase Fifi on a pole to? <laughs> uh the nature boy? Nope. That was okay. your only guess. Mm -hmm. I, I do have a text from a wrestling personality that says, uh, pounding this shit as fast as I can, I'll be ready between seven and seven 15. We'll text. Mm. And I guess who that's from. I don't know. Your old boss, Mr. Eric Bischoff. Oh, here's one. Need a t-shirt made for you for Wednesday. What size I'm headed to pro wrestling tees. There's another one. And you say you want one more. Yeah, I got one for you too. 
uh, done or I'm available at 3 a.m. too. Uh, uh, that's to Bruce. It's actually from Jim Ross. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in. Oh, here's one. A check is fine. As long as you don't pull a Heyman bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> you got one. Yes. I hope to be there in the future. Congratulations. You deserve everything good that happens to you. Hmm. This is really a terrible segment. I was hoping for more fun (laughs) for me. Well, the first one was pretty good. It was. That last one was to Medusa for uh, being honored at uh, Cauliflower Alley Club coming up in April. Oh, I can't wait to go to that. Of course, you're not going. No, can't be working. But uh, our gimmick attorney, Michael Dawkins, and I uh, will be together. Cauliflower Alley reunion. Looking forward to spending some time with him. Yes. He is quite the gimmick attorney. There is a lot of blood and Jack victory. That son of a bitch. Say what, you know, you say what you want to about Dusty. He could take an ass kicking. There he's sawing away, man. 55. Get it done. You know, I was uh, talking to Dustin uh, just the other day backstage and it is amazing uh, not the size wise, cause Dustin's a lot leaner than his father, obviously, but facially, wow. He looks so much like Dusty now in the face, but dude, he's way taller than Dusty. Oh yeah. That's what I said. Size wise. As you said, leaner as well, Lean, leaner as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The fans are not really into this at all. Are they, even though it's, uh, they're standing. Hey, where are you at on uh, airplane farts? Uh, I don't do them. Okay. If I've got a fart on an airplane, I go into the bathroom. Hmm. We've got a friend of the show who uh, says he has never not farted on an airplane. Never, never not farted on an airplane. Yeah. Apparently the pressure messes with his stomach and he just lets them rip. And I'm like, aren't you embarrassed about that? He's like, no. Now I'll always quiz on that. Like, I mean, you're just letting them rip. And he says, no, no, no. with the, with you know, the, the airplane noise, no one can hear the fart. They just smell it. So they're all SBDs. So I have plausible deniability and I just mm-hmm. let them rip tater chip. Yeah. Wow. How about that? And I just, I, I was like, man, this is a very Tony Schiavone like conversation. <laughs> Cause you have oh, no regard why? for your fellow man. What's that? So yeah, I, that you have no regard for your hey, fellow man. Okay. Hey, here comes another shirt out. Bull fucking shit. No, I'm just saying you, you bathe once a week. You, you're I out. bathe more than once a week now. Okay. But when I met you, you bathed once a week and your fingernails were as long as the sinister minister. I go video. to a manicurist now. What's her name? Brenda. Ain't nobody named Brenda doing nails worth a shit. Yes. Yes. She's an Asian girl by the name of Brenda. Let me just tell you that is her gimmick name. Well, okay. It's a gimmick name. Oh, right. Well, there's no way that you went to an Asian nail place and her goddamn name was Brenda. Well, she told me it was Brenda. Yeah. Well, she a lie. <laughs> her name was Wei Ling <laughs> and they were like, you can't do that over here. These rednecks like. <clears throat> The Shivani's up the street. They're going to come mm-hmm. in and they're, you're going to need to be like Brenda or Brenda Jean or mm-hmm. Eunice. You got to pick a name like that. Mm-hmm. I'm back to working out too, by the way. Are you really? Yep. What's your, what, what are you benching now? Uh, no, I'm not doing that. You know, I don't need, I have no, my doctor always told me that lifting weights would serve me no purpose. <laughs> I love you. So you're doing cardio. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing the elliptical machine and I'm back doing a DDPY with, uh, speaking of Asians, Garrett, the Asian sensation. Oh, everybody loves Garrett. Garrett's the man. How many people a week confuse Garrett with, uh, with Arthur? Arthur. Yeah. The guy who made DDPY famous. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Okay. I was just told that back in the day, people would routinely confuse the two. And I'm like, how is that even possible? Mm, I see that dark hair, Asian. I get it. Boy, that's racist. Okay. Hey, so how does Garrett feel about your very racist, uh, old commentary ninja bit? 
Uh, oh, he loves it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Garrett's good. Garrett's good people. He's well, not full of shit like you and a lot of other people. You probably got to be forgiving though. If you're going to share office space with weird Louie. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Garrett's office space is out front. Weird Louie's in the back where no one will see him. They would never put weird Louie in the front of DDPY. When you walk in the door, see weird Louie, you would turn around and leave. Yeah, that's accurate. Mm. You feel like there's paperwork involved somewhere in that deal. <laughs> that's exactly right. Love the staff at DDPY. Good people. Look at this, man. Yeah. Referee holding the head. <laughs> okay, I'll help you here. Yeah, baby. Is it true that you and uh, Jim Cornette used to have a, a phrase? Um, hey, I'm the one fucking this dog. You're just the one holding the head. <laughs> no, that's no, that's not true at all. But he's holding his head here for a uh, hell of a chair shot coming up. Kaboom! I swear I've heard that on a Cornette podcast. Are you saying he's well, I'm, I'm sure you did, but I have n- I've not used it all. Here's the deal. Uh, the fans, okay, he taped up a, oh, man, Dusty popping people with a bird. Oh, my God. Is that like a first? By the way, those boots that Dusty's rocking are his same iconic polka dot boots that he wore through his WWF run, and they, uh, they're now here in my studio. My buddy, Nick standing up, clapping on the left over there, the white shirt. Now the fans got into the finish there a little bit, but, uh, well, they're, they're excited. They got to see a big star, by the way, the match gets half a star. Oh, I'm sure. Next up, we've we've got CW Anderson and bill Wiles taking on Danny Doring and roadkill. Hmm. So dusty pops everybody, the bird. Does he flip flop and fly and an elbow drop? Dusty didn't wrestle much more after this, did he? No. And I bet he got paid in cash from Paul. If I had to guess. Oh yeah. Up front. Or some of his, uh, self I mean, the way he would describe himself that tickles you the most. The bull, the woods would be one, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh, second power, most power too sweet to be sour. Uh, stardust. What else? I don't know. know Did you hear Kevin Sullivan there? Just now? I did. I did hear Kevin Sullivan. Hey, I wanted to ask, uh, are you going to Michael Hayes's birthday party? We were both invited as you well know. I don't remember being invited to his birthday party. Um, what's happening at the end of the month? At the end of the month of March. Yes. In, in, in Atlanta. Uh, uh, during the weekend. Yes. Yes. Kevin Sullivan, Kevin, stop it. Kevin. Hang on. I got to call him back. Bug, bug. Well, listen, I'm glad that's bug barking because a few days ago you took to Twitter and asked yeah, for some was, prayers because as you said, the biggity was, bug was not doing well. No, uh, he, he, uh, he kicked out again. He keeps kicking out, man. He keeps going to the hospital, getting these bad blood things and uh, blood tests. And then he, they put him on medicine. And he kicks out, but this one was really scary. Now he's so. doing a run in on the show. Yeah, I know. That's I know. his way of thanking all the fans who, uh, <laughs> listen to the show and support <laughs> right. the show and said a little prayer for him. Yeah. That's bug speaking yeah. dog to thank you. Yeah. Bug. What do you think of the low key big hogs? <laughs> Are you looking forward to April bug? A bug, you coming to the Loki Big Hog thing in Huntsville? Huh? Well, he shut up because he's he knows that Dave Silva will be there. It must. It sounds like a lot like Efren. <laughs> he's chirping a lot, and then he just went quiet on you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think the Loki Big Hog get together. We should just let Efren just run it up any one good time and just hit the reset button. Mm, Jesus. What? Stop it. He says you're a damn good looking man. You don't need to get that. You know, of attention. You, 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 hey, Stop. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com. <laughs>